Hello, good morning students. Hope you are doing well. This is teacher Mimi. We will start a new lesson today. Functions and composed functions was our last topic. So today we will discuss about inverse of a function. So grade 11, be careful. What is a function? When you give an input into the function, you will get an output that is f of x. There is a very simple way what is a function. Then we have to find what is an inverse function. In mathematics, inverse means opposite. Okay, So inverse function is a function that reverses another function. So we can write f of x is equal to y. It will be f inverse of x. There are some rules when you are finding the inverse of x. Okay, first one, write the function as y. Normally, we will get a question, f of x is equal to x plus 3, x plus 1, something like that. So, replace f of x as y. Then, step 2, swap the x and y change x and y okay the third one make value of y or a subject of y then last one if you get our every step finished last step you have to replace the y with the f inverse x so this is the four steps you have to keep in mind when you are writing inverse of a function Okay, so just we start uh, example, it will be more easy for you. So, so some examples are f of x is equal to x plus 1. So, what is our first step? f of x changing to y, okay. So, you can see here y equal to x plus 1. Nothing, we didn't change anything, okay. So, second step, swap. So, replace x and y in their places. So you got x is equal to y plus 1. Third step you have to write in terms of y equals. Okay for writing x is equal to x plus 1 that is our equation. We just rearrange y plus 1 is equal to x. Okay so y equal to that 1 will go to the other side. So x minus 1. So this is the inverse y equal to x minus 1. We we'll finish. The last step replace the y into f inverse x. f inverse x is equal to x minus 1. Okay. So very simple one. First one replace with the y. Swap x and y. Solve for y. And again replace y with the f inverse x. Okay. So there are another Examples also there. The equation is y equal to 4x minus y. So we have to swap x and y. x is equal to 4y minus 5. Then we need y terms. 4y minus y is equal to x. Solve how we can find the linear equation. Okay. So same like that. 4y is equal to x plus 5. Because it was minus. It will go to another side. It will be x plus 5. Okay, y is equal to x plus 5 divided by 4 because it is 4 is multiplied with y. So, I have to change. It is division. Okay, the last one is instead of y, you have to write f inverse. f inverse x is equal to x plus 5 divided by 4. Okay, so first we discuss about the rules. Second one, we, ex we do the one example. Third one, example with explanations. So next example, f of x is equal to 3x minus 2. Okay, we have to replace f of x into y. 3x minus 2. Okay, first step finish. Second one, replace, swap x and y. Then you have to find the y. y is equal to x plus 2 by 3. 
so our calculation is finished that is f inverse then last point change the y into f inverse x is equal to x plus 2 divided by 3 okay i think you you got it now how to find an inverse of a function okay so there are four steps start with y second one swap x and y third one find the value of x last one replace y, y as a inverse okay so next section how to find the value of an inverse function so we know that now we know that how to find an inverse of a function. After that, how we can find the value? Look at the question. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Find f inverse 2. In this question, you didn't see that f inverse x. They didn't tell you to write the uh, inverse of a function. So they directly ask you how to find f inverse 2. Last class we discussed how to find f of 2. If we have a function f of x, we know that how to find f of 2. Replace the value of x by 2 and calculate. But here it is different. So you have to find f inverse of x. Okay. So let's get started. First to find the inverse of x. Okay, then substitute the value of x in f inverse x. Don't replace the value now with f of x. Because the question is f of x. Start with f of x. We have to find f inverse. Okay, so normal method you have to find f inverse of x. Okay, start like that. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. We have to replace f of x into y is equal to 2x plus 3. Swap. Then find. Okay. So we got y is equal to x minus 3 divided by 2. Okay. So f inverse x is equal to x minus 3 divided by 2. Here we got f inverse and look at our question. Find f inverse 2. Okay, now you can replace the value of 2 in our equation. Then give the value of x. x is equal to 2 because f inverse 2. That's why x become 2. Okay, replace the value you will get minus 1 by 2. So this is the second part of the inverse. First one, we have to just find the inverse function. Follow the four steps, you got it. Second one, how to find the value of an inverse function. Don't directly implement the value f inverse 2 into f of x. It's wrong. Okay. So you have to find f inverse x first. Then give the value, apply the value in it. Some questions are there. Okay. So look at the f of x is equal to 2x minus 3. And g of x is equal to 5x plus 4. There are two separate functions are there. Question number 1, you have to find f inverse x. Then you have to find f inverse 7. After finding f inverse, you have to find f inverse 7. Then f inverse 2. Follow the method. Look at the examples and rules. Follow the method and calculate by yourself. Second one, second equation is g of x is equal to 5x plus 4. Here also we have to find g inverse x. Then g inverse 14 and g inverse 10. Apply the value 14 into g inverse. And next one 10. So apply the value in then. Okay. Only one thing you have to keep it there. If the question is ask you about inverse. You have to find inverse then give the value. Don't mix up. So this is the question for you. You have to answer it in your notebook. Okay, so find the inverse. In just you have to find the inverse of the uh, functions. There are five questions. Please calculate. I think it is easy for you. Okay, so only two things we discussed today. How to write an inverse of a function. Then how to find 
the value of a inver inverse function clear okay so more questions we will upload in google classroom please open it and do the answers in your notebook and submit thank you so much